Hello everyone, this is a video guide on how to reprogram a Tiger controller with new firmware. To reprogram the Tiger controller, first you need the ASI Tiger console. You can get ASI Tiger console from the ASI Imaging website www.asiimaging.com You can find it under support downloads and tiger controller console click the download button and wait for the program to download unzip it good okay before you launch ASI console, turn on your Tiger controller and plug it to your PC with a USB. To figure out what COM port the Tiger controller is connected to, use Device Manager. Device Manager. Open up COM ports. And now I'm plugging in my Tiger controller. The Tiger controller uses a Silicon Labs USB to UART chip and so it would show up as the Silicon Labs CP210X USB to UART chip and it's at COM port 11. Open up Tiger console, click add device, click on the Tiger icon, specify COM port as 11 specify baud rate as 115200 the rest of the settings can stay the same click ok now click connect if everything went correctly the connect button would change to disconnect let's verify that we are indeed connected to the right controller go to the scripting tab maximize the window so it's easy for us to see and then type who Yeah. Oops, <laughs> forgot to turn on my tire console. I mean, I forgot to turn on my tiger controller. So, yeah, let's try that again. Type in who. And the controller will print all the cards that are in the box with the who command. This is a useful information. Let's copy it and save it for later reference. The Tiger controller we are trying to reprogram has five cards in it. Here's a picture of the Tiger controller. It's a TG8, that is it has provision for up to eight cards. This current controller has up to has about five cards in it. The first card is the Tiger Com card. All Tiger systems have the Tiger Com card. The second card is the XY card. The third card is the ZF card. The fourth card is a PSO driver card. And the last is an LED illuminator. Each Tiger system is configured up depending on the user's needs. So your Tiger system may look entirely different and that's normal and it's okay. Next, the firmware. Your firmware might be sent to you by ASI and it's usually in a zip file extracted. And then you can see all the firmware listed. Since our Tiger controller has five cards in it and each card has its own microcontroller, there are five sets of firmware here. There's the firmware for the COM card, there's the firmware for the standard XY card, there's the firmware for the ZF card, there's the firmware for the PSO, and then there's the firmware for the LED card. 
Sometimes the firmware is just a single file called a hex file and sometimes it's split up into three files. They are one and the same. It just depends on the size of the firmware. So how do we figure out what card gets what firmware? Easy. You can ask ASI to help you figure out what card gets what firmware. The other way to figure out is from the who command. As you can see, the who command also lets the firmware name that's currently present on the card. So here we can see the names of each firmware that's located on each card. So card number 30 has the Tiocom firmware, which is this. Card number 31 has the standard X5 firmware, which is this. Card number 37 has the, this is the wrong firmware, this, it needs the TG LED firmware, and this card, that's the right firmware we're gonna put it in. Card number four has the ADAPT standard XY firmware, and this is the firmware for it. Okay. 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 Now we are ready to reprogram the controller with new firmware. To do this, go back to the splash screen. And now we need to hit identify by address and the Tiger Kong car will, will load, will, will find all the cards that are present in our Tiger controller. Unfortunately, there's a bug currently in the Tiger console app and it's not able to find all the cards on in the box, especially card at address number nine. And to rectify that, go to set highest address and here change 39 to 81 and press OK. Now the Tiger Com Tiger console will look for all the cards that are that can be present in a Tiger controller. Next, hit identify by address button. The Tiger controller needs to be on for this step. A message is shown. A power cycle on the controller is required to establish current communications. Please perform the following step. Turn off the controller. Select the OK button, wait approximately 10 seconds, and then turn the controller back on. So I'm going to turn off my controller. I'm going to hit OK, and then count to 10 seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi doesn't have to be exactly 10 seconds it's just to give you a rough idea okay now the com card has queried all the cards that are present in the box and generated this list our controller has five com cards in it and here's a list of five cards and I think it has found all the cards so it has successfully found all the cards let's go up to the reprogram tab now use the browse button and specify what firmware each card should get. So let's bring up the, the Tiger banner thing from before. Let's see here. Card number 30 gets the Tiger com firmware. Okay. So card number 30, hit the browse button. Navigate to where we have the firmware saved. Tiger com card. Next, 31 gets the XY card, standard XY firmware. Browse, find the XY. Similarly, find, specify the ZF for the ZF card, specify the piezo firmware for the piezo card, and then specify the LED for the LED car. Double check that you have specified the right firmware for the right card. And when, when you're happy, hit program all. If you accidentally load the wrong firmware into the wrong card, you can redo it again by repeating the step. Uh, but 
do, do not hit halt or do not interrupt this process do not disturb this program do not disturb the tiger controller any interruption would create an issue and you might be you might break your tiger controller the only way to unbreak it is to jtag and load new bootloader onto it or return the controller and the console controller or the card back to ASI so I would say once this process has started leave everything as is and uh, do not disturb the controller or this program this process can take up to 10 to 15 minutes uh, so uh, please be patient and I'll put a cut here and I'll uh, come back once the program has finished loading welcome back it's been about five minutes and the Tiger con console has finished loading all the firmwares into the car and the following error and the following message has popped up. In order for us to use the system, we just need to turn off the controller and restart it again. Click OK. I'm going to switch over to the scripting tab, clear out and then turn off my controller, wait a few seconds and then turn it on. There we go. All our cards are loaded up with new firmware. And we even fixed the issue where we had the wrong firmware on our LED card. You can check and see if the system is performing well by issuing commands. That's it. Your system is ready to use. Thank you for watching.